Hi guys. So in the last lecture we talked about scale symmetric random walks. Today I would like to take that discussion forward. So if you remember, we defined scale symmetric random walk as Wn of t is equal to 1 by square root of n of m of nt, right? Here n basically was some integer and t was time which is continuous, okay? And in the previous lecture then we talked about various properties of uh, scale symmetric random walk and then I showed you uh, the you know that it's a martingale basically it has a quadratic variation which is which accumulates at a rate of one per unit time and we talked about you know they, that the um, non-overlapping increments of this process are independent and stuff like that right so basically what I want to do today is I want to actually focus on figuring out the distribution of this uh, uh, scale symmetric random walk at some time t so if you remember basically what we had done to construct this, uh, this process, we basically had selected n such that n times t was basically an integer. And then every, um, you know, every one by n time, we basically tossed the coin, okay? And the output of a series of these coins basically gave us um, a sample path of our scale geometric um, random walk. So for example, we, we could have gotten a path something like something like this. Okay, and this basically was the outcome of, you know, series of coin tosses. Okay, we toss a series of coin tosses and depending on what the outcome of those coin tosses were, uh, this basic, this, this uh, scale symmetric random walk might have taken a path like this. If we had conducted the experiment Another time, we could have gotten a different series of coin tosses, and depending on those series of coin tosses, we could have gotten a different path. Okay, the path could have been something like something like this, right? So depending on what series of coin tosses we got, and which was basically random, we would have got, gotten any number of uh, different paths. Okay, so what I want to do right now is I want to actually f say we basically are looking at some time t. Okay, and we want to look at what is the distribution of this process at time t. So we're fixing t and we're looking at all the various paths that basically um, cross through t and basically we're looking at what are the distribution of those values, um, you know, at, at, at time t. So we basically are looking at the distribution of this process at time t. That basically is what we're trying to do. And the claim is that the, the distribution of this process as n goes to infinity, okay, will be uh, a normal uh, distribution with mean of zero and variance of t. So what we're saying is if we figure out the distribution as n goes to infinity, it will be a normal mean of zero, mean mu equals zero, variance is equal to t. This is what I want to show you in this particular lecture right now. Um, what, and the approach that we're going to take to actually show you that this, the, the distribution actually converges that to a normal distribution with mean of zero and variance of t is we're going to compute the MGF of this, okay, as, go, as n goes to infinity. And what we, I'm going to show you is that the moment generating function of this particular um, um, scale symmetric random walk as n goes to infinity, as n goes to infinity converges that to of a normal, um, uh, normally distributed random variable with mean of zero and variance of t, okay? That basically is what we're trying to do. So first I'm gonna show you what is the moment generating function of a, a normal random variable with mean zero and variance of t. So let's do that. 